Hey guys, welcome to JPlays, I'm Iceman, and this is my playthrough of Shadowrun for the Super Nintendo. And we are on to the final section of the game, which is the Aniki Tower section. So before I go there, I have one item to get. That's it. I'm hoping that no one leaves me, but... Just make sure... Now compared to Drake, uh, Drake Volcano, this last section is really easy. Hardest thing, I mean, you're gonna be using up lots of mana to um, create the invisibility spells, but. And the only thing I was going to say here is you're using up a bit of mana to put invisibility on all your, all your guys. Other than that, it's a breeze. Pretty jinxing myself by saying that, but.
So each of these levels comes in two halves. So in a way you're getting like two levels for every level. Sometimes out of the elevators come uh, troll deckers, as I see. First level completely cleared. levels again. How many times have we done this level?
this one. One, two, three. So the top one is automatic. First half done. Okay, no, we need healing. should be it for the first half. Okay, 
don't care if they shoot me. As long as I don't shoot them. level should look familiar. Okay, let's go rest up. Just two levels left. Just hopefully that they don't run off on me in the meantime. Because we are so close to finishing the game. It's annoying. Alright, let's go finish this thing. Fight you.
weird, I lost my head for a second there. Okay, which computer's using it? That one. this level level again there's too much repetition of levels in this game all right on to the second half There we go. Whole level cleared of enemies. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. I saw pick up, the word pick up there and I was like, you can't pick up a computer. Not in this game anyway. <laughs> Finally a different level. Kind of. Another 25,000, except we don't really need it. The hell's everybody doing? Okay, just got two sections left of the, of the next level. the last bit. Thank you. 
could just do this and beat the game. But no, I want to do it all. Yeah, so that computer there is the last one. You do that, you beat the game. But I'm not going to do it just yet. I've still got stuff to do. Last one, then I have to go back in again. Alright, that's alright. Oh, and he left it just now? Oh. Had to be just then, didn't it? Go get Norbert again, and um, and then rest up. And we are good. How's everyone's health? Oh shit! Plenty of money right now, eighty six thousand. Even if Frog Tongue leaves, as long but then we've only got one section left, so if as long as he leaves after we've done that last bit, then it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go end this thing. Just got the one section to do, then we go back and hack the computer, 
and then we see the ending. Fucking hell. I got the, as part of the Beretta challenge, it's the Kitsune can't die. That sucked. I, I couldn't target her. What they needed was when you cast a spell, have a selection like a little menu that from that you select who to target, not have to manually find them on the screen. Okay, hopefully, history doesn't repeat itself. There we go. Completely clear now. I had all my guys had invisibility on, and yet somehow they could still target them. Shouldn't be any usable computers if I remember right. Oh no. Okay, there's one. It's 
probably just gonna be junk data or another. That's it, that's all the computers. They give you all this money, but you don't really need it anymore. Alright, let's go do the last computer. Get the main AI computer. You do this, you beat the game. Next to it. Okay, here we go. Final computer of the game. computer of the game and see how easy that was. So it after you um, defeat the main after you defeat the uh, main computer thingy, you don't make sounds when you walk on the floor anymore. That's weird. Okay, as soon as I quit out of this, this will start the credits. Well, this will this will start the ending.
Brian Uniac. I met him. That's why I mentioned back in the first part. eagerly awaiting a Shadowrun 2 for years. Thankfully we got Shadowrun Returns many years later, but it wasn't like a true sequel to this though. Abilities. I've never used him. Or Jenga Dance. Still Flight I have on it. I think on my first playthrough. Never used her. Thank you guys for watching as well. Beam Software, which was an Australian company. So that was Shadowrun for the Super Nintendo. By far, my favourite game on the system. Now, that may vary for you, but for me, this was my first experience of cyberpunk. You know, this game was my obsession for like a long time. I absolutely love this game, even though that my, the farming parts are boring. But the rest of this game is fantastic. There is very few games like this, especially on consoles, especially, and at most in particular, especially at that point in time. This was one of the rare few examples of a Western RPG on the Super Nintendo. 
you know, most of the rest of what you see on the on the Super Nintendo was all JRPGs like Secret of Mana, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy. But this was one of the rare few that was Western, you know, like done in America. Well, actually produced, actually was developed in Australia. You know, other than this, you had very little. I mean, there was uh, Might and Magic, and I think there was some Ultima games, and that was about it. Everything else was JRPGs. I mean, nowadays you get both Western and JRPGs on everything, but back then it was primarily just JRPGs. Hmm. Anyways, as I said, hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I have thoroughly enjoyed playing this again. And yeah. Um, if you'd like to be, uh, if you'd like to see what other videos I've got available, as I've played through quite a few games and uploaded the gameplay to YouTube at this point, uh, be sure to su subscribe on the YouTube side of things, and just have a look through the other games, and maybe you'll see something else that you enjoy. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care.